Hello everyone, this is Fandomite here, and today I have yet another Husband Hotel X reader story. So, some people have been asking me in the comments of the videos that I've been doing of Husband Hotel if I could make a Serpentious or Serpentious or however you say his name, X reader story. And I have found quite a couple fan fictions of him, and many of them I seem to notice are either two themes where they tend to. Rev the two that I seem to enjoy a lot. Or at least the two stories that I found very entertaining was a Serpentious X Chubby Reader and a Serpentious X Depressed Reader. Both of those stories were really good, and I'll be sure to link them in the description if I can find them again. But um, I decided to make it gender neutral, and I'm, I hope that it's gender neutral, because I don't know how well I succeeded in that. So I'm not used to doing gen gender neutrals, I'm more used to female readers. But since people have been asking me to do gender neutrals and males, I've decided to try and push it out of my comfort zone a little bit and see what I can do. So be sure to give me feedback in the comments of what y'all think of this story, because I think it turned out pretty okay, because I came up with this idea literally late at night, and I was tired, and I thought of this pickup line to use on Serpentious, and it was genius, and I'm like, I need to make a story out of this. So that's what I did. So this is so this is a shy, not shy. This is a serpentious ex shy reader story, and it is simply titled "Risks." You were busy sipping on some delicious tea that the egg boys had made whenever Serpentious came into the kitchen, slithering up to you. Why, hello there, your name. G good morning. He smirked at your stutter. He hissed slightly and slithered past you. He spoke with his back facing you. Your name, dearest. I think you really should start to be more bold, he said with a wink. You looked at him, confused. Define bold, you challenged. Be more flirtatious, perhaps. Take a risk or two. Be confident. Why? He smirked wider. He turned his head to face you. You may be an L, but you're still too innocent. You're too shy. He said with a small with a small laugh. Mayhaps it could benefit you. He winked and let you left you alone with you and your tea. You spent the whole day going about your daily routine. However, Serpentious's wor Serpentious and his words echoed in your mind. They sounded, taunted you even, as you looked at him with the occasional glance. When the next day came, you did a fair amount of thinking before stepping out of your sleeping domain. When you finally devised a plan, you took a deep took in a deep breath before heading out to find Serpentious. When you found him, you found him tinkering with an invention. He sensed your presence and looked up. He smirked, speaking in a sly tone. Hello, my innocent dear name. You glared at him, making your plan rebuttal. Serpentious, what will it take to be your poison? His heart stopped. He dropped the screwdriver he was holding. His eyes were wide. Without waiting for a response, he left the room with a scuttle. For the rest of the day, he and his egg boys were looking at you shocked. So Pentis and you had the much tea for the rest of the day. When it was time to head to bed, you went into the lab said to say good night. Uh oh, hello there, your name. He didn't respond at first though. He just went up to him and hugged him gently. Good night, Sir Pentis. You then left him alone once more. And now for a time skip. It was the second day of your little plan. You got up and went over to make yourself something to drink. Why, hello there, your name. Looked over your shoulder and smiled evilly. He grew nervous at the look on your face. You know, I love how you slither into my mind. He winked and went back to cooking your bre to cooking breakfast. Serpentious and even some of the egg boys' jaws, jaws hit the floor. You then looked back at them and saw the small blush on your face. You guys will catch flies if you keep that up. You winked, serving yourself for breakfast, then leaving. For the rest of the day, you carried on without much of a care in the world. However, Serpentious was just lost in shock every time he saw you. He didn't even think, begin to think that you would take what he said seriously, especially to this point. Though a sudden part of him felt like he liked it. He decided to see what else he would do to prove your point. And now for another time skip. It was officially the fourth day of your little flirtatious adventure. The day before, you didn't unload the pickup line until it was at dinner. When you were done eating Serpentious and with, the, with Serpentious and the Egg Boys, you went to go clean your plate. 
but decided to drop a bomb on him. You know, Sir Pentius, you're so good at killing my heart with your vile poison. And today, you decided to take it a tiny step forward. You decided to spritz on some fancy fragrance that you bought somewhere. You then walked up and purposely walked up real close to Sir Pentius. He felt an extreme blush come on as he said in a much as you said a much more risky pickup line. I would love to be wrapped up in your constricting grasp. Before Sir Pentis could turn back, he bolted to the exit and into your room. While you laid in your room, you, tr you were trying to decide whether you should feel embarrassed or proud. You've stepped outside your comfort zone and felt it grow on you. But at the same time, you said an extremely suggestive line. You, you said an extremely suggestive pickup line, but you decided you would use one more. But then you just started to think of how to top that. But then it hit you. I felt the dark blush go on, uh, follow that thought. You scrambled to get out of your room. You then asked one of the egg boys where he was. The boss is in the lab, he said. You thanked him and, qu and snuck in quietly. He then spoke when you were a few steps behind him. Your muffs, guys, is going to be real sexual. I think I'd make a better top to your bottom than that had ever could. You felt embarrassed beyond belief. You couldn't for the afterlife of you believe you just said that. But made it all the more crazy was that you thought it was true. So Pen just froze. At first you wanted to run. Both of you in, even both of you even expected that you would, but your feet were planted to the ground. You sighed. Spent just slowly grabbed your waist with his tail and pulled you closer. Your name, he smirks evilly. I think I'm starting to like this side of yours. You blushed, attempted to break free. His grass tightened. I like it almost as much as I like you. He then kissed you, sealing your fate. I think that this is a lot more risque of a chapter than I typically post because, well, I don't normally do this type of chapters. I'm very, I used to be extremely kid friendly on my channel and I don't know. And it's just like so bizarre that I actually pushed it to that limit with this story. And I'm like, did I, did I seriously just do that? Oh my god, I can't believe that I actually did that, I'm not gonna lie. It was fun to write, but the crazy part is, like, I was, like, laying in bed one night thinking, like, I, like, I already had the basic storyline outline of, like, oh, Serpentious X is a shy reader. I'm like, okay, I can do that. But then, as I was laying awake in bed, I'm like, what's a good pickup line for Serpentious? And then, I came up with, then I thought of, like, what Angel just said, like, oh, would that make your hat the top and you the bottom? And I'm like, Oh my god. That's it. And they quickly wrote out the story like within two days and bam, it's done. And it was so funny because like I even wanted to kind of covertly like foreshadow the pickup line like, oh, how can you top that pickup line? Top, top, top. Get it? I don't know. But I really hope that this isn't pushing the risque or the flirtatious comments or anything or the sexual sexual stuff too far because I really don't want to push this channel because I know that there are a lot of you out there who are either very young girls even though my my analytics show that there are a lot of 18 to 25 year old girls watching this but I don't know how much I believe that but here regardless of what I think I think I should definitely wrap this video up here so uh yeah Anyway, guys, I hope that you'll very much enjoyed this story because I sure saw a lot of fun making it. So, thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, this is Panda Writer, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye bye!